The Maricopa County Association of Governments found a sharp rise in people living on the streets in the last two years. Up 35% its fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic and now rising rent prices. Team 12's Josh Sanders spoke with the association on what's being done to help people with no place to go. I never in my wildest dreams did I think that this would have happened to me. I don't know how I ended up homeless because I've always paid my bills. It's a harsh reality that no one ever imagines would be their own. No roof over your head, nowhere to go, no address for mail to be sent. You have to have a roof over your head. That's like the basic. This year, 12 News has spoke with several people who were living on the streets because of pandemic struggles, rising house costs, and an end to the federal eviction moratorium. It was a month to month where I was renting from, so he raised the rent. I was paying $100 a night to stay in a motel when I could afford it, and when I ran out of my Social Security money, I didn't have anywhere to stay. This week, a report released by the Maricopa Association of Governments, known as MAG, found a 35% increase in homelessness in Maricopa County over the past two years. And this is consistent to what's happening across our country. But what is being done? Last December, the MAG Regional Council unanimously approved an action plan working with multiple organizations to tackle homelessness. As we see families and people on fixed in income struggle, is that we just need more affordable housing. It's the most important thing right now that we're seeing. MAG Homelessness Program Manager Nikki Stevens says the work to develop affordable housing is already underway. So far this year, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development granting $35 million to 32 homeless programs in Maricopa County. More than two dozen of those programs focused on providing housing. We are working together more closely regionally now, and you can support, you know, local nonprofits. You can support your local leaders and in increasing affordable housing across the valley. Josh Sanders, 12 News.